What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O. Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Jesse Williams is a very complex individual in the entertainment world. He is what we consider to be mixed race, uh, but I believe that he more or less identifies with his African-American or black lineage. And he was married for some time to a woman by the name of Arian, okay? Now, she is not a bad looking lady. In fact, my ex-girlfriend from college is very similar in looks to her. Not like the most beautiful woman in the world, but hey, good enough to booty lime sounds. I mean, <laughs> you know me, I'm not tripping, especially give me some of that sequence VO, I can get it cracking. But nonetheless, after, you know, once she was you know, a, a really successful lady in real estate, made a lot of money. He was a school teacher. Once he got on, um, they divorced. He was dating um, a French white model, you know, very attractive. He is now dating a black woman. OK, she is a close friend to Rihanna. She was the creative record uh, director to Geffen Records. So when you look at her and his wife, if we could put a side by side photo, we can see both of these ladies are professionals, which is something that Jesse Williams really appreciates. OK, he is a man that is not going to actively date a woman because she's just beautiful. He's actually looking for her to have something to contribute to the table that I can tell about. But what is also very different is Sierra seems to take better care of herself. All right. And, I, I, you know, I was the guy that was on, you know, saying something like, hey, listen, well, Jesse Williams, you know, he don't really probably even like black women. You know, he deals with white women only. And, um, you know, his wife was not really his type. But that, the, and I'm kind of agreeing with this media takeout article. This lady is also just as old as he is. She's a professional. But she takes care of herself. Now, his wife is not as in shape. Okay. Um, now that's him hanging out. Okay. But let me let me just let me just see this. Let me just look at this. If this is the truth. I, I think this reveals what many some guys in the black community who have the ability to be what you call high value or mixed race guys. It's so quick to say that you know what these men don't want to deal with black women because of x y and z because they hate themselves uh because they don't like sisters but now let me just say this many times black men will give black women um the first right of refusal shout out to el guapo over on the beautiful lies channel but the reality is is that do you check the boxes because see high performing black men have standards anybody in any community has them in the african-american community we have our elites many of them go to meharry medical school it's a quite a interesting place to go to school at you have harvard you have howard you have hamptons the black elites have what high indication of living amongst standards all right if you look at hbcus today they're cheerleaders that look, they don't look like Lizzo, do they? No. Go to Jackson State, Southern. Women are extremely beautiful, extremely feminine looking. Alabama State, okay? So black men who are in positions of a power or positions of prestige, they're going to want their women to look a certain way. That is because it represents them. Now, I'm not saying that his wife looks bad or anything. I don't think that's the case, but it does appear that he's willing to deal with black women or any woman who meets and checks certain boxes. Here's the problem with this. How many black women have boxes for black men that they want checked, but when black men want you to check boxes, you're upset about it. Hmm? I'm going to say it again. You want black men to check certain boxes, but then when we want you to check those boxes, our mixed race men, however you want to consider Jesse to be. You don't want to check those boxes. Why? 
And when a man doesn't want to deal with you, it's all he only likes white women. Clearly, that's not the case here. Now, even though there's rumors that they could not really be together, obviously they've been spending some time together here and there. But but the but the reality is this: if you are a woman that is competing to look good, woman that's competing to be professional, a good look for a man, a black man will be competing for you. But a lot of times, what ladies want in any community is like, okay, you don't not offer anything, and you still want a man to compete for you, and you don't have very much. For a man to choose it's the best way to get left on the sidelines and a lot of black men can date different races of women because let's be real the hatred that black men are getting in the community that are dating interracial these are coming from black men who are at the top 20 percent of our community nobody cares about the guy who you know is not earning so much money and he's dating a white girl and she has a big butt or she's overweight yeah, like those kind of guys you see with the white girl at Walmart in the checkout line, they both have on flip-flops. No, nobody's worried about that. The, the problem is when those guys are Meharry Medical School graduates, those guys are Harvard Law graduates, those guys are engineers, those guys take fairly good care of themselves. They have been to multiple countries. They own their own home. They are a part of what we consider the top partitions of black men. That's the problem. All right. That's the this, this is the fundamental issue that we're dealing with here. Those are the men that women are upset when they deal with other races. So why not me? Why are you not bringing your resources to me? And black men are saying, well, hey, do you check these boxes? And black women are saying, well, we don't want to check those boxes. But why are you still dealing with them? Well, then if you don't want to check those boxes, why are you talking about this? And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with certain women in the black community who want guys that they are not, okay? You're not the um, academic standard that you're looking for, or you're not the physical standard of what you're looking for. You're not the, you know, you may have a kid or two out of wedlock and that guy doesn't, but that guy is supposed to be checking for you. Like, we gotta be honest about this. It's almost like you being a very beautiful, a lot of options and you have a guy with no money asking you like, why don't you wanna go on a date with him? Right, because it wouldn't be worth your time. Right, exactly. It's not worth your time. But if a woman does check those boxes, it's clear as day here, if the story is to be accurate, which I believe that it is, because I've heard other people tell me this, then yes, black men will give you that if you're trying to compete on an international level. Black women want black men to compete on the international level with white men and bring resources. How many ladies are looking to pay, compete on international level for a black man in beauty and intellect and everything else? That's where the rubber meets the road because I'm gonna tell you like this, a lot, I don't think a lot of black women feel that black men even deserve that, no matter what you achieve. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. Thank you.